the problem? What is my API sending? Or what is being sent to my API? Being able to see what is coming in can help you with your debugging, or if you're posting out, seeing what you're sending out can help with that debugging also. There used to be a nice tool called Postbin that you can use online for free and you could use that as an endpoint to be able to send data to it and see what is there. Went looking for it a few months ago and I could not find it. So found the next best thing, some code that will simulate Postbin. We need to install a few tools t first if you don't have them. Words. So we're going to install Node. And this list will be down in the show notes. Install Node, nodejs.org. It'll detect your operating system and see what you need to run or what you need to install. After you download and install that, install ngrok. Ngrok allows you to get a public URL to be able to route traffic into your computer behind your firewall. Yes, it's safe. I use it a lot. Then you're going to need to clone the post bin script. I have it out on GitHub. Actually, I forked it from someone who put it out on GitHub. I forked it on, on the event that this person deleted it, St. John Johnson. If he ever deletes his copy, I'll have a copy. Plus, I have it locally. You can clone or download. If you have Git, you can clone it. If you want to just download, you can just download a zip. Either way, works fine. Then after you've cloned everything, you can go to the directory where you have your script. Let me move this over. That is here. I have a git directory, my API tools, my post bin, and you can say nude postbin.js and then you need to give it a port number. We're going to already have it running somewhere else, so we're going to go 8000. Now it's running. How will we know? We'll see that after the next couple of steps. Now, after you have ngrok running, you just open a command window, doesn't matter where, directory, doesn't matter, ngrok http two t's not three and then you need to give it the port number that you're redirecting to on your local machine and whoa oh no oh i've already got too many running let me go ahead and kill one no not you you Control c yes Yes, I use ngrok for quite a bit of stuff. Anyway, there we go. ngrok 8000. And it will give you this URL right here. So this, give me a mark. Give me a mark, please. Mark, mark. Edit, mark. That will be your external URL that you can have data get posted to to hit your computer. All right, Postman. Just to verify that this runs local, localhost 8000, right here, localhost 8000. We're going to send what, who? Yay, it shows up. What, who? And you can also see what the headers are, user agent, except all that info. That's nice. Oh, and it even will tell you if it's a get or a post. Yay, post, headers. Now we're going to use the ngrok URL. Go ahead, define a body. Just go ahead and let's just make it some JSON. Boom, boom. Yo. Sub. Send. Now went out to the internet, hit this endpoint, got redirected into the machine, and then it says, yo, sup. So we have the data there. And there's also, 
a way that you can view the web interface for NGROC. So we'll say localhost one colon forty forty one right here web interface this will tell you where your local web interface is and I'll give you some information about your running NGROC and you can see the different requests that have been sent through it so if you want to get some more information out of there NGROC will also capture that info you can see the raw see the binary if you so choose replay you can do the replay which will do another posting locally but it just goes from the local ngrok instance to your running postpin.js this is very useful if you're debugging a script or debugging your api trying to figure out what is going on what information is being sent or just kind of curious and want to play around with an API. Good grief, getting all tangled up in my microphone cord. So, between NGROC, Node, and a Postman script, I was able to find a way to get all this lovely debug information. Could have just done it with NGROC, but it's nice being able to capture it. I hope this helps you. If it does, please like, subscribe, comment, Hit the bell notification. I promise not to blow up your box. <laughs> okay, well, I can't promise that. Anyway, hope this helps. Stop recording.